guys, it's Deligracy here, obviously, and welcome to a brand new video. I am so excited to be recording today. I'm a little bit jet lagged. I'm a little bit all over the place because I just landed back in Australia from America this morning. Anyway, today's video is going to be about The Sims 4 Seasons official live stream that went live from The Sims 4 team a few days ago. And some of you guys were tweeting me while I was away saying, can you please do a breakdown of the live stream? I don't want to sit down and watch the whole like two and a half hours. So I have gone ahead and I've done that for you guys and I've pulled out the key things that I think you guys might like to see. Get your tea ready, sit down, relax, enjoy. Yeah, let's get excited for The Sims 4 Seasons because oh my god, it is so close to coming out. Some of you guys will also know that I was in the USA because I was lucky enough to have a hands-on experience at playing The Sims 4 Seasons before release. I can't tell you anything else yet, but I can tell you that in the next two days I am going to be releasing all of my gameplay from while I was away. So I'm going to be going through with you guys the new creator sim features, the hairs, the dresses, all the different seasons. Do so make sure to subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell, and then we can enjoy it together. At least for now, we can look at what the official Sims 4 team has shared with us in this live stream. So I'm going to get straight into it. Let's, let's check it out. So first up, the live stream really started looking at creator sim seasonal wear. We find out that there are two new types of categories for clothes. We have clothes for hot weather and also cool weather. And no matter if you buy seasons or not, you will have both of these categories in your game now. So that is really exciting. Then Sim Guru Romeo here and Sim Guru Rad, they basically took us through all of the different clothes, which was really exciting. Now I'm not gonna like sit here and go through every clothing element for you guys guys because that's going to take forever but if you guys do want to check out the stream I will link the official stream in the description down below it is on the sims 4 official twitch page basically the clothes are a mix of clothes for hot weather and clothes for cool weather so we have snow pants snow jackets we have the most cutest little Christmas tree outfit for little toddlers it is adorable and just some really really nice assets new hairs, new jewelry. We don't have any more traits. However, there will be two bonus traits uh, through gameplay, which I'll talk about later in this video. But yeah, there's a good mix of stuff. There's clothes for all ages. So next up, the Sims team jumped into uh, gameplay and we got to see fall or autumn, as we call it here in Australia, in full glory. Look at all of these beautiful red trees. Now, we don't have a new world in the Sims 4 seasons. However, that is okay with me because what they actually did is make sure every single existing world is compatible with every season, summer, autumn, winter, spring, which actually apparently was quite painstakingly long to do. Uh, they had to recolor a lot of the trees, a lot of the assets uh, to make every world look beautiful. Oh my gosh, even though we're only seeing a base game world right now, I am so excited to see like, I wanna see Windenburg in winter. I wanna see Oasis Spring when it's like raining in the desert. I want to see Selva Dorada with the sun setting during like fall. It's going to be so beautiful. Here we have Emery, George and Romeo showcasing the new calendar mode which we have in the game with seasons and this is really cool because you can basically use it as a schedule. You can schedule dinner parties and events and there are also brand new holidays which will appear on your calendar as well as the forecast. So it shows the weather forecast for up to seven days days in advance and you can plan events up to two weeks in advance. So they are going to be showing us how you plan an event in this stream. Uh, we do have the little work icon if your Sims have a job or career they have to go to. And we're also having a look at Love Day right here, which is like a Valentine's Day. There is New Year's Eve. There is like a Christmas Day uh, or winter celebration and a harvest celebration. And that simoleon dollar symbol there is actually a secret holiday, which apparently are going to pop up now now and then and that is a rebate day so I believe that means and I assume that means your sims can actually get some money on that particular day free money yes please so right now they are going to add an event and of course we have all of the events that we already have in the game there are no like new events per se however you can make your own holidays and choose 
what actions and things take place on those holidays, which is kind of cool. But right now we're just doing a house party, I think, or a dinner party. Um, so inviting all of the family, they're going to be cooking themselves. There are also grand meals that you can cook for your family. So you can have that kind of Thanksgiving dinner if you want to, or you can make more extravagant dinners, which is really, really brings to life celebrations. Of course, you also pick the event time and you could like plan a dinner party right before a house party. So your guests can go from one event to the other without having to kind of start all over again. And then of course the event comes up here. You can see who's invited to the event. They've planned a house party and a dinner party and uh, the times that those are going to take place. So that is pretty much how the calendar works. If you look in the top left-hand corner, you can see there's a new UI here and that shows the current event or celebration that's happening right now. So right now it's actually Harvest Fest, which you can get rid of if you don't want it in your game, although it is like a stocker standard event that is going to happen. And underneath are the things you need to do to celebrate this event. So there is put up decorations, there is something to do with garden gnomes, there is having a grand meal, and I'm not sure what the last one is, but I think it's some kind of interaction, celebratory interaction with uh, your family. Thankful spirits, so to share thanks with your family, to be thankful with another sim, and as you fulfill those, um, you complete that holiday celebration. So like I said earlier, you can create your holiday or edit existing holidays. So there's a whole heap of different things you can do. If you want to watch sports and go streaking on Harvest Fest or during Harvest Fest, you can totally do that and change it up per sim, I believe. Uh, so that is pretty cool. And you can like count down to midnight for New Year's Eve, uh, do some baking, attend a holiday ceremony. So you can get really, really creative. And I want to make like a deli day. And I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to do something epic. If you have any ideas for what we should do on Deli Day, do comment down below. Now, if you go to this item over here, which is like a little box of decorations, you can decorate your house in The Sims 4 Seasons, which is really, really cool and really brings a neighborhood to life. Um, so you can, you know, go really slowly with decorating your house and select each piece of the house, what you want to put up, or you can just quickly throw up some decorations, which is what they're about to do. So they're going to say, put up decorations. And if they zoom out, we're going to see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like um, for the Stocker Standard Fall decorations or Harvest Fest decorations. There is bunting. There is also Christmas lights and they do cover up the fences, the foundations and the roof lines. So that is where all of those decorations are going to appear. And the neighbors are also going to have decorations randomize as well on holidays. So if you wander around your neighborhood, you're also going to see your neighbors getting involved in the festivities. So basically it, it really does feel like a holiday throughout your entire world. So we can see here the Goths house, they've gone for something a little bit more sparkly. We've got lots of dangly lights, I think they called them in the live stream. Uh, so you can have twinkle lights, especially during New Year's Eve and Christmas. I feel like those would be really important. And then another neighbor's house has got um, some of the twinkle lights as well and some of the bunting. So I think that looks really, really nice. There is also a new friend or character object in the game. This is Patchy the straw man and Patchy will actually come to life and walk around and help you with your gardening if you develop a relationship with him. So right now they are getting their sim to have a chat to him. He will even give your sim certain things. He might give them seeds or some vegetables if you're lucky. And at around midday each day, I think he will automatically get up and help all of your Sims gardening if you do have gardening on the lot. So you'll see this scarecrow man just walking around, watering the plants, harvesting them. Right here is a new item and this is the scout board. Um, and basically this is a board where you can collect badges for a new career for teens and kids. It's the first time kids can have a career. So this is just a fun way for your kids to be a part of something. They can get into their scout outfit and they collect badges from doing good things around your world. And you can collect all the badges. Over here is the badge progress. So these are the different badges you can get and what it shows what progress you are at in order to complete it and get the badge. So things like this would include keeping fit, doing good deeds, arts and crafts, uh, science, scholarly things, sociability. Um, it's really like all of those things that will help your sim grow and blossom 
love the pun for seasons into the amazing adult sim you want them to be. So it's kind of an incentive to do that. And it's, it's cute that they have a few activities to do. Another really exciting feature is that we do have a update actually, even if you don't have the Sims 4 Seasons, you will get this update in your game, which is for glass roofs, yay! So if you own the Sims 4, no matter if you purchase Seasons or not, you will be getting glass roofs in your game and they look really, really cool. Uh, I think there's six different types of glass roofs, so there's some different patterns. Uh, there's like a honeycomb pattern, there's a more like, ornate kind of pattern and diamonds or just clear. I think it looks really cool and I can't wait to see what you guys do with this because this is gonna make some incredible builds. <gasps> I love it when it's totally clear like that. It is so cool. And obviously it's to encourage uh, gardening in seasons because that is a massive focus of this expansion. And um, to kind of, I guess, allow players to be able to create like greenhouses for all of those plants um, because plants now have to go through the harshness of winter. So if you want your plants to all bloom and blossom, no matter what season they are in, um, you're going to have to put them into some kind of undercover area, such as a greenhouse. During the Harvest Fest holiday, there is um, a mention of gnomes on the new UI in the top left hand corner. Basically gnomes will appear just randomly around your house. They might change positions and depending on how you interact with the gnomes, they will either do good things for your sims or bad things for your sims. So if you uh, give say some fruitcake to the gnome or give some coffee to the gnome, like they are showcasing right now, uh, that gnome is going to hopefully do something good for them. It's got like the angel symbol above its head and it looks like, I think maybe she got something put into her inventory. Uh, oh, see, they disappear. And if they disappear, you have to go and find them again. So it's kind of like a hunting for the gnome game. Also, the little kid there is sporting a new bowl haircut, which is so adorable. Okay, so if you kick a gnome, for example, this gnome may like set your sim on fire. You might get electrocuted. Uh, it's going to be pretty nasty. So... You gotta be careful about that, but that's just an example of one of the holiday activities that you can do during fall. Okay, so this guy is about to kick the gnome, bam! Oh my gosh, he actually broke the gnome? That is so mean, and check it out, the TV is broken, everything in the house is broken, all the gnomes have like fires above their heads, they're really, really angry. So basically, don't kick gnomes unless you want your house to be completely destroyed. All right, so we are jumping ahead now into winter in the game, and I think this is such a beautiful season in the game. The lighting engine becomes darker when it's snowing. Look at that beautiful snow falling. It is covering all of the homes, the roofs, plants, the trees have lost their leaves, the river is frozen or the lake is frozen. And like I mentioned before, if you do have a garden, it is probably not going to grow and bloom and be harvestable if you do not have them inside in a greenhouse. So there will just be no leaves probably. Right now these Sims are actually decorating a new object in The Sims 4 Seasons. This is a blank tree, which you can choose to decorate however you please. You can put a topper on it. You can choose which topper. You can put lights on it. You can put ornaments on it. Uh, you can pick your tree skirt and together as a family or by yourself, you can decorate this tree and really celebrate Christmas or as they call it in the game, Winterfest. And next to the tree, there's also a pile of gifts, which will expand the more gifts your Sims add to it. You can even sneak gifts away and look early at your gifts if you're like a teen or a child. Um, maybe even an adult can as well, or an elder. Um, but yeah, I just thought this was really, really lovely how they all decorate the tree together. Father Christmas, I think they call him Father Winter. He will also appear during Winterfest. So it's essentially Christmas. And if you look at the top left corner where the UI is, um, there we've ticked off decorating the tree, ticked off, I don't know what, what that other icon is. It's, it looks like a snowball. I'm not quite sure what that is, but something else. There is gift giving or receiving. There's also the grand meal and seeing Father Winter. So let's skip ahead and see what Father Winter looks like. Right before we check him out, I almost forgot that they did show off the new ice rinks. Um, so this is a new activity for your Sims to do. You can put these on your lots if you wanna build an ice rink or you can just go to the ones that have spawned in the world. And it's really, really cool. You can like put light patterns on the ice and do tricks. There's even ice skater outfits. So that is pretty nice. 
and it looks like right here oh yeah they're picking the music I think there's a couple of new music uh, genres as well to check out you are also able to have snowball fights and here it's Father Winter look at him he looks so cold um, but you can have snowball fights there are snowmen oh my gosh Father Christmas also or Father Winter just slipped over on his back so you will see your sims slip over and they will be cold and kind of try and like shield themselves from the wind there is a swing set there which we'll check out in a little while uh, which is pretty nice and yeah, let's skip ahead to when uh, they start interacting with Father Winter. So right now, what they've done on the stream is actually give Father Winter a negative interaction. So this guy is actually going to start fighting with Father Winter, which probably means he's not going to get many gifts. He might even get a lump of coal or something like that. Um, I mean, right now we can admire the dress in the top left hand corner. Uh, that is a beautiful ice skating dress. Like I said, Father Winter will come to your fireplace. You can ask him for gifts. Uh, and if you've been a good sim, you will receive gifts, hopefully. But obviously, if you're a bad sim like this, you might not get so lucky. Yeah, that is pretty much, uh, Father Winter, what he looks like. Right now, we've jumped into spring in the world, and it is raining. Oh my gosh, the rain is so beautiful. <gasps> Love it. And as you can see there, there is a sim walking past with a little umbrella. Now, all of the sims in the world, I think, typically have the classic black umbrella. However, if you get the umbrella item, you can pick what kind of umbrella your sims carry around. And it's really, really, really cute. There's also a skating, like a rollerblading rink uh, to the right of the home there. So that is similar to the ice skating rink to check out. This is basically just showing uh, what the world looks like. And also because it is springtime, the decorations of the house have changed. It is love day, similar to Valentine's Day, I guess. So if you want to give your Sims some flowers and some love, probably love day is the perfect day to do it. So here's the little umbrella object I was just telling you about. My favorite umbrella that I saw on this stream was like, a clear umbrella with spots, which is really, really cool. So here are all of the different umbrellas you can pick. There's like a watermelon one, there's a rainbow one, uh, a few different colors that are all fun. And where's the spotty one? I think they're gonna pick the spotty one. Oh yeah, bottom left is spotty. You can see the mud puddle there. You can also see a sprinkler. There's the clear umbrella, which I think is super, super cute. Uh, and the sprinkler is kind of fun and cute for the Sims to play in as well. And yes, we've just shown that is, it is a love day right here. This is some of the animations of the little toddler like playing with the sprinkler, super cute. And this is also the sim going on the new swing set, which is really nice. You can push other sims on the swing or you can have them both just swinging by themselves. Uh, and oh God, that toddler is just so adorable. This is the little toddler pool I was telling you guys about. So obviously you might want to use it in summer when it's a little bit warmer and it's not necessarily raining, but it's really, really cute. You can see the toddler here in his little like little swim outfit, uh, his bowl cut hair. There's also the mom there in her more wintry clothes. Uh, even though it's probably pretty warm outside, she probably is a little bit too rugged up. But I just thought this was really nice to show like the umbrella, the rain, the new object, the new animation, including all different ages. And I love the bit of like steamy stuff, misty stuff coming from the top of the palm tree. I thought that looked really cool. Now, if you do want to change the weather, there is this weather controller object that you can use. However, you will need to update it uh, with your handiness skill, I believe, for it to completely change the weather or for it to be more reliable. So basically, if your sim wants to try and change the weather for the first time, they have low handiness skill, they might get uh, electrocuted or something like that, or it might not work. So you do have to kind of upgrade it. And it looks like right now, this guy has successfully changed the weather to snow. So it is now snowing, even though it is spring. And you can either just change the conditions or you can change the season entirely. If we go into the greenhouse during spring, uh, you can see that there is a new object of the beehive with a sim in its beehive suit. The bees are actually really, really detailed in this game. I'll explain it to you in a second, but there's also a floristry workstation, which is a new skill, um, which I was really, really excited to see because I love floristry in real life. Uh, but yeah, you can 
have a beehive, you can form a relationship with your bees uh, and your bees will help your plants grow. Your bees will also create swarms. And if you want to take that swarm and put the bee, bee swarm in your inventory, if you have a good enough relationship with them, those swarms can actually help your sim achieve things in their life. So for instance, the bees can go woo a sim and they'll like go around the sim and create a love heart and kind of woo that sim for you or they might go attack another sim uh, that you don't like. So it is good to form a good relationship with your bees, which I thought was really, really cute. And if you do wear the beehive suit, then the beehive suit is going to prevent that relationship from happening. However, you're not going to get stung by the bees. So it's kind of like win-win both ways and lose-lose both ways. The gardening skill has been given a complete overhaul. Now it's going to be much easier to see um, how your plants are doing if they need to be taken care of, if you want to water them or if you want to weed them, it's going to be a lot faster and you can also sell them all in one go, which is really, really cool. Um, which is like called a super sell, which means you can just sell all of your harvestables instantly. So you really can more easily make a living from having plants at home, which is really, really cool. And not to mention, there's also a lot more plants available. They've added new plants that will only bloom in certain seasons, which is really cool. Right now, we are going to go to the supercell. There we go. So it gives a list of all of the plants that you have and how many of them you have to sell. And if they click on it, it's really fast. Ta-da! All of the plants are going to sell in one go, depending on how close they are in proximity. And then you just only have to do it a few times to sell everything. Over here, we have the sim working at the new floristry table where you can work on your new floristry skill and you can actually sell these, I think, for a lot of money. So he's just going ahead, creating his uh, work of art, depending on what flowers he has in, in his inventory, he can make certain things. And it also can be um, a little bit more powerful than just how it looks, uh, depending on what flowers you put in it, it will give your sims certain moods. I think if you put a death flower in there, something happens. Yeah, if you scent it with a death flower, you can actually age up sims. And if you age up an elder, they will die. So you can actually cause death in elders with it. You can give them as gifts and you can also like change the color of the vase, which I think they're gonna do in a second. Uh, which I really, really liked. So you can just have them as decorations around your house or as you get better at the floristry skill, you're going to be able to sell them for more. And if you have get to work, you can definitely open up your own like florist and sell all of your flowers to customers coming by if you want to do it that way. So it does open up the game to more options and more careers, which I think is really cool. And it's definitely something I'm going to be exploring. So here he's changed the color of the vase and he's adding a begonia to it. I think that's how you say it. It's actually leaving a scent. So when he gives this as a gift to a sim, it's actually going to be a cursed midnight paradise. You can also see that it can be sold for over 1500 simoleons, which is really cool. And now he's putting it in his inventory. He's going to be giving it as a gift to a sim with the new gift giving interaction and we'll see her get dazed. There we go. Uh, where is it? Gift gift, um, give flower arrangement gift. So he can give that to her. They can have a little nice romantic moment. There's going to be spoiled by a cursed flower, which I love. Look how cute the little box is. Isn't that adorable? Oh, and you can even get your bees to give gifts as well. And in a second, she's, oh yeah, see, she's looking a little bit angry now. She didn't like the gift. Oh my gosh, she's giving a swarm of bees to him maybe. I don't know, maybe a swarm of bees just came for him. Uh, but her moodlet is now going to be dazed, which you can see there. So that is what the cursed gift has done to her. You can see that he's got some honey in his inventory, which you can also sell. So you can harvest the honey from the bees that you keep. And the bees do have uh, feelings. They might be irritated right now. He can collect the swarm, put that in his inventory if he wants to, and then he can um, do what he likes with that, with that swarm. So you can see that he's taking the swarm, putting it inside what it looks like his belly, which is kind of creepy just then. And yeah, then he's able to do whatever he likes. Let's see what he can do with them. He can attack, send to fetch a gift, uh, pollinate nearby plants, cheer up yourself with bees. They seem to be very helpful creatures.
I did just want to show you guys the rewards traits so you can go to the rewards store and you can get a few new traits um, such as waterproof trait which means your sims won't get affected by rain at all and won't drip or anything you can become a storm chaser sim which means that the sims will love storms instead of hating the storms um, they'll really thrive when they happen and put them in a really good positive mood and give them a positive buff uh, and they can also be immune to cold or heat. Uh, your Sims can die, I think, from the cold and maybe die from heat as well. So that might be a good thing if you want to keep your Sims from overheating or getting too cold if they're going to be working outside. Um, so those are a few of the traits as well. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Do let me know in the description down below what you think of this pack. I personally am so excited for it. I think we're going to have so much fun with it. So do make sure to keep those notifications turned on so you can be the first to the videos to check out the new pack with me. I just want it now. Anyway, as always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I will speak to you soon.